guys, my name is Ashley Poston and I will be your author in residence today here at Epic Reads. Today's video is going to be ruthless YAs that I would 100% probably die in. So let's get to it! to it. First up is the Grishaverse by Lee Bardugo. I'm not going to just say the Shadow and Bone trilogy or Six of Crows or Cricket Kingdom or King of Scars. It's just the entire Grishaverse. Just all of it. It's ruthless. I would probably die in the first chapter of Shadow and Bone. Let's just be honest. When like they're going across the shadow fold and there's all the <laughs> things like there's no way. There's no way I would survive that. So I'm dead from the beginning but hey it's a great read. Yay! Next up on the list is The Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie Dow. It is about the young empress, well, up and coming imp empress of Fang Lu, who uh, must come into her power, but to do that, she has to, she has to eat a few harps. Literally. She has to, nah, eat a few hearts to, uh, to bring out her magical prowess. And uh, if she doesn't do it, there's an angry god who's probably gonna kill her. So, you know, it's just, it's fine. She'd probably eat my heart. <laughs> I'd probably let her, let's be honest. Next up on the list is The Fever King by Victoria Lee. Now, this is one of my favorite reads of last year. It is about a young man named Noam who, uh, after, inf after being infected with a magical virus, he is the only surviving uh, person of his family, and he gained these, like, magical technopath powers where he can command technology. And so he wants to figure out how to stop this virus, and so to do that, he has to figure out what it is. And so he becomes an apprentice to what is basically the ruler of Carolinia, which is the country that he is in, and his son is real hot and real evil. And, um, you know, it's, it's fine. It all turns out, it all turns out fine. Anyway, I would probably die by the magical virus because <laughs> I, just, I get one cold a year and that one cold like knocks me out for days. And so I would probably get infected with the magical virus and I would just die. I wouldn't wake up with like magical superpowers. I would, I would just die. Next up on the list is Black Wings Beating by Alex London. It is about twins who must go on a journey to capture the fiercest bird of prey in all of their kingdom. Did I mention that it's warfare with big burbs? Just huge burbs of prey just swooping around being really terrifying and these twins they have to go and like find the most terrifying of all and basically use it for war. I would probably die by the burbs. My, my entrails would become my extrails. They would just go all over me. And I, you know, if they're cute, I guess I wouldn't mind. Really. Watch anyway. Anyway, Black Wings Beating, check it out. It's but if you are looking for more of the seafaring variety, I highly recommend Sea Fire by Natalie C. Parker. It is lady pirates. It is steampunk future dystopia. It is pirates. It's like a bunch of like really cool girls just coming together and just like beating the crap out of people. And oh, it's so good. And it's pirate ships. And it's like really, really, really complex female relationships and oh I just makes me so happy. I would also probably die very quickly in the world of sea fire. I would probably be captured by the uh, evil pirates called the bullets and they would probably torture me and torture me and torture me some more until I died and then they would dump my body over the side of the ship and I would just go floating off into into the water and I would be, you know, bait for sharks. I don't know, a nice, nice lunch for a seagull or two. I think I'd be, be a pretty good lunch for a seagull. But anyway, Sea Fire by Natalie C. Parker. Highly recommend. It is a rip-roaring good time. And next up on the list is Give the Dark My Love by Beth Revis. Now I'm talking necromancy. I'm talking a school for magic. I'm talking plagues. I'm talking mystical dark arts. I'm talking murder, love, revenge. 
Ninja! I mean, really, what's there not to love? Well, I guess besides the being undead thing. That would suck. Honestly, in this world, I would probably die of the plague and then come back as an undead and then I would just lose my head. I would get decapitated somehow and then I would spend the rest of my, like, undead afterlife? Unlife? Whatever. Just wandering around the world looking for my head. Yeah, that checks out. And next up on the list is The Thief by Megan Whalen Turner. Now, I hadn't read this for a very long time and people were like, read this book! And so finally I was like, okay, I guess I'll read this book. And then I read the book and I was like, oh, this is why they were telling me to read this book. Because it's really good. So, The Thief is about a, the Queen's th Thief, a uh, Jen, Eugenides? Eugenides? Eugen Eugenides, 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 Eugen Eugen no, that's not right. Anyway, it's about the queen's thief, Jen, who gets asked by the Magus to go on a quest to go find this legendary artifact. And so he's like, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, but he has some machinations of his own. And so um, it's about him getting into a lot of trouble. Um, and his entire world has changed after that. In this world, I probably, like, if I found, you know, a nice place to, you know, live, set up a shop, you know, become a apprentice to someone, I would probably be alright. But honestly, I'm too dumb for this world. I would die of, of, of sheer stupidity. Because I, I, I was never a Girl Scout. I don't know how to build a fire or camp or cook for myself. I can cook ramen. That's it. Ramen. I burn SpaghettiOs in the microwave. That's where we're at in my adult life. So I just, I don't think I, I don't think I would survive The Thief or any of the other books, like, at all. And next up on the list is Beneath the Citadel by Destiny Soria. It is about a city ruled by prophecies and a high council who oversees these prophecies and has for the last few centuries. There's nothing shady going on. Not at all. But there is, and Casa must figure out what it is before it's too late. So she teams up with the motley crow of misfits, and they go and try and overthrow a high council that has been ruling a city for, you know, centuries. Nothing can go wrong. At all. Nothing can go wrong. I would probably die again from stupidity. Because these God, these these characters are just so smart, and I'm like, how did you figure this out? I have no idea. I can't even. <sighs> and also, I would just, I would just be like, yeah, I believe that prophecy. Sure, yeah, why not? Yeah, darkness is coming. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, darkness is coming. Oh, I'm murdered. Cool. My next and last wreck isn't exactly a book, it's a manga. It is Full Metal Alchemist by Hiromu Arakawa. It is one of my absolute favorite mangas of all time. It is about two brothers who, in trying to raise their dead mother back from the dead by committing an unspeakable alchemic, 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 is that like alchemy and comedy all together? Wow, no, um, an alchemic sin, uh, they lose parts of themselves. And so to return their bodies to their natural state, they must go on a quest to find the Philosopher's Stone. But they accidentally stumble onto a plan to destroy the entire country in the process? It's fine. They got this. Ed and Al, they totally got this. Yeah. If they can try to bring their dead mother back from the grave, oh yeah, no problem. Like... So anyway, that's it for my recs. I really hope you enjoy them. Happy reading. And oh, wait. Actually, I want to do a few more, if that's okay with you, but we'll do it in a rapid-fire round. Okay, let's get started. First up is A Conspiracy of Stars by Olivia A. Cole. It is a secret lapse, it's murder, it's mystery, it's basically Avatar, but a lot cooler, and has STEM girls in it. What's there not to like? And, and also, next up is a To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. Uh, hello, murderous mermaids. Yes, please, they could, you know, drown me any day. The Lumentary Chronicles by Melina Marchetta. I'm actually not sure what this is about, to be completely honest. I haven't read it yet, but I know how I would die. I would die a slow and agonizing death from all the pressure of everyone who's trying to get me to read it. And it worked. I'm reading it now. Thanks. You should too. We should all just read it. Because I'm not sure what it's about. 
I've heard about it for years, literal years, and just, I guess it's like The Thief by Megan Whalen Turner. They're like sleeper cells. They just, you know, creep up on you like a silent but deadly fart. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and all that jazz, and please comment in the comments section about your favorite Ruthless YAs. And happy reading. Bye, guys. Bye.